I'm Chris Thomas, and this is Masterclass. I want to do a quick why it's not a block, because the next move of the form, right, is we step forward and we do what we call chudanuke, and everyone goes, well, it's a block against a punch. Here's the application, man attacks step punch with this hand. Yeah. Right, and, and this is, and he did exactly what a good karate guy does. Mm -hmm. He doesn't hit me, <laughs> <laughs> right? And then I go, hey, mm, except it's weird going forward. I usually feel like I'd rather go backwards because that's coming, so I step back. So I don't get hit, but the kata goes forward. So right away, that's the, first, that's the first place where the brain goes, something's not right here. Kata goes forward, but in practice, I'm always doing, I'm like doing this. So I don't, what, what's the disconnect? But let's just say we do the exact same thing, only this time instead of, don't go faster. <laughs> but actually, actually hit me. Whoa! <laughs> right? Okay? Uh, that three inch difference in range completely changes how long it takes for that technique to reach me. And I suddenly don't have enough time to go like this. So it, 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 that can't work. Can't work. But if I look at the mechanics of one, two, this is the very beginner version of it, one, two. All right, so it turns out if he's punching, this motion, where I go this way and this way, that's a two-beat motion. Right? I have to go one, two. He's doing a motion that has one beat. One. I can't, I can't, I'd have to be more than twice as fast as him because I also have to compensate for reaction time. However, if I'm standing here and he goes to punch me, that I can do. Look where my hand is. This is the, so why not go? because now that makes sense. Now I want you to see physically what happens when I do that. I go here, bang. Notice the angle and position of my arm. It is not sideways, it's at a natural angle. This is actually called the neutral position of the forearm. This is the neutral position of the forearm. The neutral position of the forearm is the safest structure for your body. That's what we mean by two bone blocking. It has to do with aligning things up in their most natural position. Because if I turn this way or this way, either I'm separating the two bones or I'm twisting them around each other. So I want the neutral position. You want to find the neutral position? Just relax. Your body ha already knows where it is. Second thing, you notice how the motion was not sideways, which uses the very weak rotator cuff muscles. It's actually forward almost on a 45 degree angle. It kind of cuts an arc this way, using very strong muscles, tricep, um, uh, forearm extensors, stuff like that. And, right, so he attacks, I go, bah, bah. look where my hand is. If you know pressure points, you know that without aiming, my fist is on stomach six. And I didn't have to think about it. People say, how do you hit a pressure point in a real fight? It's moving. I don't know. I just did. <laughs> I like, I actually, uh, uh, what Jeff says. He says, well, don't we teach eye jabs? Eye jabs the same size as a pressure point. You can, are you telling me you can't hit an eye? Because if you can hit an eye, you can hit a pressure point. Okay, well, I just did, doing the basic technique. Do this. Hit their arm, move forward, and just let your hand go right to their face. It'll go perfectly naturally, very smooth, and then, and then after that, you just go, oh, I'll just do it like that, and you'll be fine. Okay, try. <laughs> 